Hello there. So if you're a little bit confused about the AI prompts, how to write what's positive, negative weights and everything, or this is look like this example prompt, get confused and you don't know what is meaning. So this video is for you because I'm going to explain how does the prompts work, how the weights work, what does all these different brackets mean, when to use this and how to use them. And we're beginning first with the environment explaining. I'm working on a stable diffusion local installations with Aftermatic 1111. This is prompts will work with almost any stable diffusion installations. However, some small deviations may be affecting based on the local implementations of the uh, how it's translate or transcribe the input strings. But majority, it should be work fine. It's based on the uh, documentations based on wiki documentations and other information that the, what I provide for you. So right here, as usual, stable diffusions, you have a two main areas where you can put it input. It is called prompts and negative prompts. Understand this, if the prompt I type readdress, it's meaning regenerate for me with a red dress. However, if I go and I put it in red dress, a negative prompt, it's meaning remove this red dress. So I don't put it no red dress because no red dress and negative, it's double negative. I know in English you don't do like, um, what is it, double ne negatives, but in this case, it's what happening, it will be no, no red dress. So it will be red dress will be accepted. So keep this in mind. When you do a negative, you already by default says no to whatever you're putting there. So this is kind of straightforward. Okay, now let's look on the what um, separations we can have it. So first, keep in mind that when we write strings, the AI or text processor need to take it in separate way to define the properly weight for this. So example, if I have it um, one boy dot, I'm separating, I'm specify one boy, this is a one weight, one definition. Wearing red coat. This is another one. I can separate by period or by the comma. Playing with the ball. Notice we have these separations. And also the word uh, processing, text processing, base it on a different model that we're using. Because if you notice right here, we are using Euler A, it's gonna have a different pre-processing and all the sampling method. So depend on what pre-processor, depend on what sampling, it's some strings may be affecting uh, differently. However, this is just a general example as what I provide for you. But based on this general example, we have it, our words, we separated them by commas or period to kind of group together. However, when is processing happen, they are analyzing what's inside because a wearing red coat will be one. But it is could be separated in some instances with separate red and coat. You can put in a single coat to combine more of them together, kind of encapsulate. So the code must be read in this case. Okay, another thing to keep it in mind that um, even you write very long strings, what you want to do, AI need to determine values of this or what importance on this. If you don't specify the weight or importance of specific elements, that will assign default way to everything. So how do we define the weights of the object? And this is when we're using a printency. For example, if I want to be sure all of my image included ball or pay attention to this, I need to put this in around a printency. By default, if I don't put any value of the a print inside, the value will define by 1.1. So it's a one default value, 0.1, it is multiply, it's incrementing on this. So it's meaning that ball should be more important in the weight in my images by 0.1 than any other subject inside. This is applied by default. So in some cases, if I go here and I put it one by one, that is will be similar if I just do this way. Okay, 
So if you want to apply more, you can apply column and you can say, for example, two, it's a very high importance will be, so it's sure it will be apply in our things. So let's go ahead and click generate. And you can see definitely it's applied so much importance, it's put it red balls all over the places. But it is give you some idea of the importance of this. So example, if we go ahead and we put it ball just a one dot two, for example, that way it should be applied a little bit less importancy. And you can see we don't have it like a bag on a ball or other things. But overall, we still have a boy who wearing red coat. So beside the emphasizing, so this is if we want to get attention, emphasize. If we want the emphasize, we can use a square bracket. But I will recommend do not use this. And this is the reason is why. Because to make less attention to this, all what I need to do is just put it 0 0.5. So below 1. This way I reduce emphasization on this object. By default, you can also use a de-emphasize by utilizing the square bracket. For example, if I put it right here and say ball inside, square bracket, it is de-emphasize, so have it less attention to this, by um, 0 0.9 by default, so it's have it less. However, you remember like we're increasing emphasize or importance of that object by put it comma and write to, in this case, it does not work this way. In this case, it is work on iterations. So it says ignore this specific object till you have it so much iterations. And iterations right here, we have a 20 simple steps. So it's 20 times so iteration will increase, increase. So it's meaning on the second step, ignore the ball till our second step is coming. And you can see how it's can kind of confuse because you say, hey, I want to emphasize this, make less important. But it is square brackets can have a double meaning. And the reason because of the double meaning, I will highly recommend for you for the easy read and other things. It's have it like a ball, for example. Again, how much importance? 0 0.1. So in this way, you de-emphasize and a better, you says how less important it should be. So why do we actually want to skip something to process? It is to reduce detailizations or other things. For example, if we create background and I want to create playing, let's go ahead. We'll have it playing with the ball. And let's say like up front of the, so we'll go, okay, right here, let's go there castle and I want to take this one up front of the castle and says okay don't use it this one okay so let's go ahead and we'll set iterations on this uh, let's go say 15 steps and now we can go and test how it will look notice we don't have it any castle up front so just as example let's go ahead and remove all the weights of this because I think 15 iterations was a little bit too long, but you can see right here we have it our castle. Okay, let's try maybe put it uh, less effective. So because I put it 15, 15 iterations, let's go put it five iterations less of this, and we can generate sometimes. And you can see how it's less permanent castle on the back now um, than before. Sometimes it's work to get it a little bit more batches when we test it, because that way. When you render one, it's still affecting by the random creation. But if we have it like four badges, then we can compare and it says, okay, on approximate, it's what work. But notice right here, so we have it on 50 durations and you can see castle is way less permanent now in our scenery where we put it. Of course, this one inside castles, but general, you can see apply here. So if we example, put a 10, it's meaning image and remember what's happening. It's creating full noise, yes? And it's the noising process happening, happening the noise. So figure already assign everything. So on a fifth iteration, so it will be quite a bit. Actually, you know what? Instead step, let, let's go here. Let's go, it says, this is will be our fifth step. It's what we want to do. Okay. And let's go to delete these ones and generate. So you can notice 
what is the fifth step will be in our creation. And you can see on a fifth step, we have it quite a bit already defined stuff, but we still don't have a define anything on a background because, and if we're going on a 10 step example, okay, let's go just decrease here. We go on a 10 step iterations and we look, you'll notice a definition is already kind of what defined, but it's less. So if we've set here and we're going and put it, okay, let me, um, yeah, up. Castle and we put it 10 skip till 10 iterations in this time. And we want to be sure we're going and restore sampling to 20 iterations. So when we start creating this, the castle should be even harder to determine because it's almost image already done. So if you create it and you put it too high, it will happen here. So let's go ahead and we'll set 40 iterations. So after it's not 20, it's have it 40 steps. We should have it right there. You can see we have it now castles because overall it's have it enough steps for AI to process to place castle in those elements. And more steps we have it, the better quality it will be processed. However, if we have it on the castle at this time, we can determine like, for example, even 20. So it's meaning um, boy playing up front and after 20 cycles, we start placing, start rendering or creating castle inside the, our scenery. And you can see like right here, uh, let's go actual batch four set on this one. Let's render. You'll see that in some cases you're already too far in to place the castle in. So it's good sometimes place it, but it will be less change, ten, uh, chan <laughs> chance because the image already quite bit render already created. So it's much harder to do this. So be sure when you set your weights, you kind of try to put them in right places. And let's look example. So right here, we can see some castle in the back slightly, slightly. Here is almost don't have it any time. We have a floor of the castle kind of trying, but again, we don't have it in our majority scenery. We don't have it any only in one place where we did have it some castle on a background. So, but here's a question. We can also reverse this. So for example, what if I put a double columns? So in the double columns, it actually says, ignore this object after so many steps. So it will won't define as details as we want it. So 40, it's quite a bit details we can have it. And for example, I can say, you know what, let's say first 10 steps, it's one big castle. Okay. Let me go ahead, just erase this stuff so we can preview what's going on here. And we'll have it 40. Uh, let's change this one, fix it. So what do we have? We have one boy wearing red coat playing with the ball up front of the castle. Okay. And we have it 40 steps. Let's go generate. So in this case, we should have it very permanent castle because we don't wait anything at this point. We're creating everything. So we should have it all subject in our image. And it's what we're receiving. We're receiving the boy in this case. So now um, they all sharp everything. Let's look just example if we're going and we'll say 10 iterations how we want to do. And you can preview on 10 iterations. Notice what resolution of the castle, how much details castle will have it. And we can see because it's fast, it's not as much details as before. It's just very simplicity. So with this one, what we can do, we can say, okay, if we have some um, subject that I want to place it on the background, but I don't want too much details on the subject. So I'm not going to put it square bracket because I don't want to give it attention. I want to put column, column. It's meaning after so many iterations, stop processing. And I put a 10 and a closing. On this case, I should have it a very sharp image of the person up front with who uh, with the good details but the background castle should not be that good so let's go ahead try this and see what's happening okay and here our result you can see definitely less much less details on the castle than on a person itself 
So because how say after so many iterations, it stopped processing and focused on other things. And this is very good when you try to isolate. If you traditional painter or if you create some compositing, you'll notice sometimes if you have too many details in many areas, your image get lost. So with these things, you can actually specify. You can say, hey, I want castle very blurry. I don't want to do anything. So on this case, it will just create a blob and it's what we see. It's just one iteration. It's totally blob. Okay. In this case, so probably five iterations will give it some kind of very far away fuzzy subject. And it's work very well if you combine with some other when you're creating prompt. Okay, so let's go the one and you can see definitely we don't see any castle because one iteration, it's a pure noise. So we don't care about this. But if we have it five, that will be a little bit more blobby kind of creating castle for. And we can definitely see some very blobby castles. Of course, in some cases, it wasn't yet even defined. So maybe playing with the durations where you want to stop it, it's take a little bit um, random again, it's because it's creating, but overall keep it in mind that you can control. Okay, so let's look at another case. And right here we have one boy wearing a red coat playing with the red balls. And I have two additional elements. I have it flowers and clouds. Let's go ahead and render this. You notice we'll have it right now as 40 simple steps. And here we have it our flowers and have it our clouds. But sometimes maybe you're coming to the point that says, you know what, um, I want more attention at the beginning to the flowers or less to the flowers, more to the clouds and utilization. And the reason is why you want this, um, because let me go here and let's say we have a sampling steps till 10 sampling steps. We just render one image right now and it will look. It's actually nice, but image already kind of defined. We'll see the clouds, everything. It's less details, but it's somewhat done. Okay, if we going and render with the maybe 40 steps, let's see what's happening here. You'll notice we'll have it a little bit more details because we are kind of working a little bit better, but we definitely have it some, um, I think, mutant with more hands. So let me go regenerate a little bit better for this. Okay, now we don't have it flower field. It's why sometimes I like to render a little bit more, but we have it way more defined hair and other things. Okay, I think this one will work. You know, and just for this, I'm going to reuse the seed. So we kind of used on same image to compare. So this is our 40 steps. This is our 10 steps for this image. Okay, with the same seed. You see how less detailizations. What's happening if I want more detailizations on the flowers, less on the cloud. So we can have it the same uh, square bracket. And remember what I said before, because of this multi use of the bracket, um, you want to use a de emphasize round brackets with a zero point go below one. That is a little bit better. And here we can use it conditions. So if I have it flowers and I put it condition or clouds, it's like programming language. And next I need to define on which steps I want to prioritize beginning one and two. And this is actually work this one. This is will be one. This will be two. And if I says five steps, so it's meaning first five steps, it will work with defining flowers. And after five steps, it's work with the clouds. So this is will be let's go to 40 steps. And it's what's happening. Usually flowers will say, OK, it should work a little bit less or less utilization on this and more on the clouds. And we can see how it's happened. Uh, sometimes it's better if we're just using even one step. So in this case, we know precisely this is what's performed on one step and after it's gone. And we can definitely see less utilization, this more. So now let's go say I want to have it like, for example, 35. We go to total opposite. Okay. On this case, we have it. 35 steps on the flowers and just only five steps on the cloud. So then we'll change our utilizations. And as a result, you can see we have it way more defined of the flowers right there and less on the cloud. So it is kind of work between them. You can balance them, but keep in mind it's a, what's happening. It says first process this many steps and after process that item with so many steps. 
but you also can alter it. So, for example, you can have a priority. And why you want to do this? Remember, it's a noise. And how it's work? It's look at the noise and says, can I see that element there? And if I can, let me clear up this element better. So, and it can go this uh, element. So, if I set up, just bang forward, it will iterate, it's rotate each time per everything. So, I can have a clouds tree so for example here what's happening it will go through and says number one flower number two clouds number three tree identify so it's try identify and denoise this element from the scenery so this way we can go iterations and you can prioritize so let's go ahead try to do this one and shouldn't show me tree very well because we have it in my seed let me remove the seed again and try one more time okay it's happened our flood flowers uh, cloud and flowers so it will be try iterations over and over and right here you can see it's going overall if we look look on the detailizations on the trees versus detailizations on the person it's definitely less because we have it every other well it's actually two parts because we're iterating between clouds grass and trees we kind of reducing detailizations on them and you can see perfect example see how see how detailization versus hair on the boy and the flowers you definitely have it less uh we'll have a little bit different mutant problem here with the fingers but we can address this in negative prompt overall it will help you to create so you create all these alternators yes we created all of these uh weights but you can also nest this weight so it's meaning nest i can says um like for example round bracket and remember round will be emphasized by default and i can say um flower field okay this is one emphasizing done and i want to emphasize maybe flower field to where we should put it let's put it 1.5 okay we done here okay um next what if i want nested emphasis so i can actually says okay i want flower field here which is will be 1.5 okay and next i can create another things um trees old tree let's go put it old tree old tree and i can say this one as well for example 1.2 notice what's happening this is emphasized inside so the flower field will be more emphasized than the old tree because it is stockable multiplication this in this case actually 1.5 let's go put it 1.2 okay let's go ahead and render and we have it should be more with the flower field and a tree old tree on a back so we still have this but you can see how permanent and emphasized it's happening so in some cases if we look this will be similar if we multiply like for example flower field and we can say this one i will multiply by 1.44 this is what happened here and a similar will have it like all tree multiply by 1.2 of course you can put it multiplier out and have it this way but um it is will work as a nested a simple math thing so you multiply this by one two you multiply that one again by one two and you can also even if you put it multiply by 1.2 here then it's meaning this one will be 1.44 and this one so i write will be by by one point around seven seven two we'll just put it seven something like this so this one is equal to what we did here so you can actually nest them inside as well you can de-emphasize so you can put it square brackets inside here and says hey i don't want the tree that emphasizes so i'll put it like this and mess up so this way it's almost will be equal to this 
I hope it kind of give you an idea how the math work. You don't need to do all this complex math. All what is tell you when you start building, you can add those elements and you need to understand how the interaction or weight of them, importance, emphasis of them will work in your model. Okay, so let's just say we leave this alone here. Okay, but you notice also we sometimes have a problem like we have it with the fingers or limbs. So for this one, we want to use it negative prompts and negative prompts is what's happening. The iterations happen and it's look and says, Hey, can I identify boy? Yes, I can. And I will say, for example, um, more than five fingers. So on this and negative, it's going and says, does this model have it more than five fingers? Count them and says, yes. So let's don't use this iteration. So on this negative, then you can apply it. But be sure if we're using this way, we can put it commas around. Okay, we also can emphasize this. And remember, because you don't want to use it uh, square bracket for the other reasons, but you can use it um, round brackets. And in this case, we can use it. Um, actually, right here, all three. This is was wrong. This, if I don't dis emphasize, it should be 0 0.8. I just noticed my mistake there. But anyway, more than five fingers, and we can say, let's put this one, two. So I want like huge things. I don't want five, uh, more than five fingers. Okay. So in this case, I can put it in negative prompt, and this way, when it's rendered, it will check and says, hey, how many fingers we have it. And it will start count one, two, three, four. So I think this is about right. Well, four less than five. So I, I should put it probably I want five fingers. But in this case, you can see how it's more accurate now. So you can control. Same, for example, you can have it um, extra limbs. Or you can put it some other ones. Notice I don't say no extra limbs because by default, this is our negative prompt. So no, it will be applied to this. Same things, you can apply the weights as we did before on what is more important. Sometimes people put it too much weight. And if you put it too much weight, you know, if I take and I put it everything with weight too, it does not really work well because everything will be equal weights. So just to specify which you think most important or other elements here. Um, and just to, as example, let's go, you know what, comma, let's go to, oops, I want to haze and we'll put it haze five. So we'll see how that will work. It should actually quite a bit, but generally you can see that it's just actually haze by five too much. But you notice that no extra limbs and actually we're hiding fingers. You know what? I don't need to hide my fingers. I should actually display. Let's go ahead and put it right there in red code. Close up on hand. So we'll go close up on a hand and let's go ahead, remove this one. I want just render. Be sure we have it kind of like see the hand and you can see right there some models will perform properly but this is on a hand with five fingers and that one we actually can put it a little bit 0.2 a little bit higher for that one okay we also want to probably get this inside the run parenthesis just to emphasize kind of on that and if it will still give it problem because remember it's all randomly created i think we have it five fingers here one two three five i think this is accurate fingers but we always can go back and just says extra limbs we can also apply as negative so it's double verify for us and <clears throat> let's go check right here we have it one two three four five six see sometimes it's not necessarily will work properly more than five fingers it does not work so let's render again and here you can see we have it perfect we have the five fingers applied correct amount in our scenery okay so this is actually a bit more to this but i think other ones they uh, kind of very specific and I'm not sure this work properly in some cases 
overall this is a little bit more prompts for you to work around I know it's a little bit longer video but I want to show you examples and going over some of those prompts hopefully it was helpful let me know if you have any additional suggestions or um, additional information about the prompts how you can more customize with weights how they're all this emphasize the emphasis if you have any additional documentation somewhere you want to share i would greatly appreciate this thank you for your support be sure you subscribe give us thumbs up share this video uh, help my channel grow it's helped me a lot when you do this and hopefully you have a great time to create your own art thank you for watching this video.